Hello everyone, welcome. Hello everyone, welcome to Monster City. I'm your host, Prince Willie, as always, and today we're looking at an action figure reviews of the Orb Oddities Creepsies uh, figures. And, um, yeah, these uh, Creepsies figures I intend on um, getting as much as I can. And, uh, they are. They are really cool. They they look really cool. Um, in my opinion, these are probably uh, some of my favorite figures of 2019. I can't really do a uh, uh, for uh, January of um, 2020. I c uh, for 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 the recap of for this channel of 2019. I can't really do it all that much because there wasn't much figures that I was interested in getting this year all that much. I could try um, to do it, to do a late recap, uh, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but it wouldn't be any sort of action figures, mostly just toy figures that do have articulation, but are mostly just meant for kids and other than anything else, really. But this is going, to, uh, anyways, this is going to be kind of like an unboxing showcase. These aren't really figures to review, more, mostly showcase, I guess. I, the title is fairly misleading for the, I guess you could say it's fairly misleading. Um, in my opinion, it kind of is for the first Creepsies videos uh, that I had for uh, Stone Crusher and Wind Fury, those characters. Um, it's mostly a, a sh other than a showcase than a review, uh, for the most part. Uh, this is Hexhound having the power of water, and, um, and it shows the, uh, Hexhound to right here, to where you can squish and everything, and it looks, the product itself looks a little bit different than, uh, how it is right here. Um... Yeah, the teeth are more prominent, and the eyes don't have any sort of, uh, white, whitened, um, features to it. Uh, the detail overall is fairly, um, uh, cartoonish and simplistic overall, you know how it is, uh, for kids' toys. But fairly detailed, nonetheless. The colors are pretty interesting. And I believe this is a... Part of the, um... Defenders. Anyways. Uh... With this packaging. It's, uh... Usually with packaging like this, you have to destroy the uh, package in order to open it up overall. In my opinion, for the material of these characters, it's I really enjoy the material. I, I've always uh, liked uh, rubber animal toys like this and everything. It's it's really it's really fun. Um, I've always collected like rubber animal toys come from the company. For example, the company Imperial. I Imperial toy. I always uh, have collected stuff from there all the time. Right, this is kind of like a monster dog. Uh, dog creature kind of like a wolf or some sort of other canine like monster looks pretty cool the the teeth since it's made out of rubber and everything it's a little bit sloppy and everything i mean it does have detail but it's just kind of like the paint and stuff the what were you really going to do about about the paint and stuff it's 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 made out of rubber, and they try to 
give a paint that uh, they'll fit onto it. I mean, usually paint wears off uh, rubber things like these, but I don't know if it's going to wear off of these. It might, I'm assuming, with uh, almost every single rubber ammo uh, toy that I have. Uh, all the paint has, like, um, rubbed off because it's kind of like... I don't know how to describe it really, it's... Mm. Um, the knee pads are in the shape of skulls. That's interesting. Also the shoulder pads as well. Colors are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here's the uh, second. Here's the first... Uh, uh, here's my third figure that I got. This one and also another one are, um, are the newest figures. But this one I got a few days ago. His name is Boulder Bite, and he comes in this package, kind of. He was, uh, in this pose, uh, in the package. Um, and, uh, he is a Defiance. Or a Defiant, uh, uh, monster. Looks pretty cool. Uh, detail, pretty good so far. It's kind of like a, a rock dragon, kind of like a desert rock, rock dragon-esque monster. Pretty cool. The teeth, again, a little bit sloppy and stuff. It, it, it does have like a. You can tell that it's individual teeth and everything, but it's just how the paint is. Uh, kind of, uh, these uh, figures kind of have kind of like a dry brushed paint to them and everything. It's pretty interesting. And some of them have like a. Some of them kind of have a uh, glitter look to them. This one doesn't really all that much. It's just really shiny and everything. But yeah, the detail, pretty good in my opinion. Fairly cartoonish. And here is uh, the other one. I'm intending to get this uh, one. Uh, from what I saw, I did not see, well, I don't know if I'll be able to get this one, however, because, uh, from what I saw, I did not see this one at all, really, for, uh, for, uh, for the pictures I saw when I looked it up online. But this is, uh... Doom Strike and uh, Death Power and Force uh, Mort. Uh, here he is. Here's Boulder Bite. Here's One Fury. Um, this is the only one that I need to get if I am intending to complete the whole entire uh, setup here. Yeah, this figure is pretty cool. Um, looks pretty interesting. Oh, just run the package. Oh well, I intend on running the package. Anyways, since I'm opening it, huh? Another piece of plastic. That's new. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. This one's this one moves around freely. I kind of like how it moves around freely. It feels like since it's more thinner and smaller, it feels kind of like a softer rubber. Other than these ones, these are more thicker. But this one, this one is one of my favorite designs uh, ever since I saw it on online from its images. It, it looks it looks pretty cool. And it looks like it's. Well, well, I know its hands are uh, gripping the swords, but it looks like uh, the swords are part of its hands, which, in my opinion, would be a really interesting... Or are they? 
No, I think I kind of see some fingers in there, a little bit of the detail. But that'd be pretty cool and interesting if the swords were a part of its hands. That'd be really interesting. But yeah, this design is pretty cool. It's kind of like a ghoulish figure. It's probably uh, one of my favorites already. And of course, they're stretchy and rubber. Of course, with every single rubber figure. Yeah, this one. Oh, suction cup. Yeah, it's hollow on the underside for basically all of these figures. This one is a little bit more of a suction cup because it's a little roundish. But yeah, this one. This one seems uh, really cool. I actually really like this one for how freely it moves and stuff, and it kind of looks pretty cool. I intend making these figures into. Well, it will take a really long time for me to make them, but um, I intend on making these figures into poseable action figures, kind of making them out of clay and uh, foil and wire, which I usually, uh, which is how I usually create figures. It'll take a, it'll be a challenge, but I intend on doing so. Um. But, you know, uh, sometimes uh, that probably won't happen anytime soon because uh, I have so much figures I want to create other than these. Um, uh, you know, may maybe it'll be kind of like a, uh, just an idea, not in any sort of uh, reality. But I uh, currently right now, I do... I want it to be a idea that turns to reality, however. Um, but that could change, however, as well. But yeah, I really like this. I really like this figure. Um, the dry brushing in mixed colors looks pretty cool. I like the color choice and also the skull looks pretty clean as well. Yeah, this one is probably currently my favorite. So, um, yeah, apparently these two are, uh, part of the Defiance, or the defiant and the Defenders. This, uh, video was fairly long, actually. I, I talked a lot in this video. Um, well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video anyways, uh, beside, uh, my, uh, talking uh, so that was a part of the video um well bye uh, I don't know what to do now probably end the video um my name is Spencer Wally and welcome to Monster City uh, and I hope uh well bye